Knox has been around for 50 years. Uh, we were started in 1966 by one of Hartford's first city councilwomen. Uh, flashing forward to today, we manage over 20 acres of community gardens in the city, uh, which grows about $400,000 worth of produce with the community. Uh, we have three different workforce development programs. We work with over 3,000 volunteers a year to give the city a green facelift. And as a charity, we really want to go and find places to help and communities to help that, that otherwise wouldn't get it. Knox is a big believer in letting the community lead um, and building those community connections because uh, once we go in and do a project, uh, who, who's going to maintain it? Looking at community gardens as a microcosm of our work, um, certainly there's an environmental benefit. Uh, Stormwater runoff, cooling the city, uh, plants absorbing carbon dioxide, things like that. Um, but, but it's more from the human aspect. Um, a, there, there's food security in our community gardens. Um, there's effectively a neighborhood watch group. Instead of having people behind closed doors, all of a sudden they're out together in what was piece, previously a piece of vacant land, um, really developing a community feel, um, learning how to actually work with their neighbors, meeting new people. Um, it's an incredibly important thing, and you know, from studies we know that community garden actually increases property value. Uh, we know community gardens drastically contribute to overall neighborhood connections and awareness. Um, so it's, you may, you may see something green and think it's a simple thing, uh, but really it's one of the more powerful things you can do to connect people in an urban environment. A special thanks to the Hartford Foundation. Um, they, they really are an incredible supporter of not just our work, um, but many of the nonprofits we work with. We try to operate with incredible efficiency and really, really make the city as beautiful as it can be.